So I've just stumbled upon this brand new MIDI transformation tool and it's called M2TM Fugue Maker. So let's just see what it can do. I'm in session mode and I've created a little piano clip like this. So while you're using Fugue Maker, I highly suggest that you start by using something really simple and then you can build up as you learn the tool. So once you have that first clip done and you've brought up the MIDI transformation tool, then you have these things here called voices. So basically voice one, voice two, three, four will allow you to select different tracks. So we've got two Keyzone Classic, three Keyzone Classic, they're just piano tracks. So I'm going to select two Keyzone Classic like that. So what it does is it sends this MIDI from the the first clip into the second clip exactly as is unless of course you're going to make some changes so in this case here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select four four times the speed and once I'm done with that I'm just going to click apply like that and the MIDI clip is created so let's just take a listen to the first clip and then I'm going to add the second clip to it second clip Okay, so that's pretty cool, but you can do other things. So what I'm going to do here is reduce the gate a bit to about 50%, and I'm going to reduce the velocity as well. So it will overwrite the previous clip, and it will create a second clip that is different. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the second voice. I'm going to select the third track, Keyzone Classic 3. I'm going to select two so it's going to be double speed but i'm going to increase the octave by two the gate will be less as well the velocity will be lower so now that's created the third clip now let's listen to them all together okay that sounds pretty good but let's actually increase that gate let's actually bring that gate to 200 percent and see how that sounds let's go and see what we've created here Okay, that's pretty cool. I think that sounds okay as a basic track. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna duplicate that first group of tracks. And now we've just duplicated it, so it'll sound exactly the same. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back into the first clip here, and I'm going to reset or refresh the track list on the second track, and on the first track, I'm gonna do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do essentially is take a listen to this and just make a change. Okay, so let's just bring this down a semi or two semis. That's it. Okay, now let's just reapply the same settings that we had for voice one to Keyzone Classic. Let's reapply that. That will create the clip again. And let's just do the same thing for the second voice. Reapply. Now let's listen to the track groups together. Super cool, huh? So basically from using the Fugue tool, I've come up with this great melody. So another thing that it can do that's really cool is it can create a decent little beat for you. So let's just check this out. I've got a single clip going and I've got an instance of Impulse. I've got this preset on Impulse going here. So I've just got the four to the floor kick like that. But what we can do is we can create more tracks. So let's just bring in four instances of Impulse. Excellent. So now that we've done that, what we can do is we can take the first voice and we can select the track that we want. So we can select track two, which has already been done here. And I'm going to select a speed of half speed. So it's half the speed. So it's going to be a bit slower. And I'm going to invert the interval by four scale degrees. The reason why is because the kick is right at the bottom of this set and increasing it by four will bring it up to one of these other instruments. So let's just generate that now by clicking on the generate button here. And there it is, there's a new clip. So let's just listen to them together. Uh, 
Okay, now let's go into this second one here and we'll just select the third track. And now this is gonna be a slightly faster beat. We're going to increase it by seven scale degrees. I've pushed the velocity down because it's quite a loud beat and the gate has gone down to 82%. So let's just create that one. And let's listen to all of those. Okay, so by having the speed as a free or as a third or anything like that, it just gives it a kind of more of a swing sort of feel to it. And let's go in and go to the third voice and we can select track four. And we're going to have this one a bit slower. This is a fourth speed and we're going to go ahead and use the same instrument as before. We're gonna create the fourth track and now let's just take a listen. Okay, so it's created this sort of big sound every four beats and uh, that's pretty much it. And as you can see, it took basically very little time to do anything. What we can do though is we can duplicate that and we can start messing around with some of the uh, sounds. So for example, we can bring this kick in just a bit earlier here and maybe have it like that as well. We can go ahead and start regenerating all of the sounds based on that slightly different structure that we had uh, set up there. So let's just do that. And now let's just take a listen to how this one sounds. I mean, it's not, it's not gonna be perfect all the time, but what you can use uh, do is use that sort of variation as a drum fill. So let's take a listen. Pretty cool, huh? So the other thing I want to just quickly show you is you can also create harmonies. So with drums, that's actually quite interesting because what it means with harmony is you just play different notes at the same time. So you can have like a doubled up sound. So say for example, we wanted to take that snare, but we wanted to also add a different instrument. So we select five and we'll select seven here and just regenerate. Now we can take a listen. So you can see here, it's just generated three different notes at the same time. And you know, because it's MIDI, you can just go in and make changes as you want. So you can say, move some of these a bit earlier, some of these a bit later, or just down to different places. Okay, so yeah, it's a really useful creative tool and there's a lot more functionality than that. I'm just really touching the tip of the iceberg, but I think it's really a lot of fun to use and you can get very creative with it. So check it out. So Fugue is a Max for Live MIDI effect, but it's not an Ableton MIDI effect, it's not free, it's created by a developer and it comes at a very cheap cost. However, I wanted to say that we can give away five free copies of Fugue. All you need to do is like, subscribe and comment Unlike last time where it was the first five people to comment, this time I'm going to allow a few days for people to comment, about three or four days, and the best five comments or questions will get a free copy. So go in there, give it a go, and see what you think. Catch you later.